Hello and welcome to Express Drive. Today we have the brand new Maruti Suzuki Brezza with us and we are going to talk about its design, its styling elements and why it's looking a lot more mature. And not to forget, it still continues to strike a chord with the actual SUV buyers. So as a compact SUV, you have to give credit to Maruti Suzuki because they've continued to make the Brezza look like an old school, tough looking SUV. Sure, the front grille has changed and why not? Because it looks a lot more contemporary, it looks a lot more smarter. They've changed that all chrome front grille. Now it's got that black band running across and then you've got these chrome inserts right there, extremely smart and they look very, very contemporary as I mentioned earlier. You take a closer look at the dual pod LED projector headlamps. Now everything is LED, starting from the headlamps to the fog lamps. So Maruti is going the premium way and they're leaving no stone unturned. But just to ensure that it does not lose out in that SUV macho image, it also comes with a silver plate right here, the skid plate, and it really does add to its image. So it looks smart, it looks contemporary and definitely looks muscular. Let's take a look around and see the side and the rear profile if those also match up and complement to the front design. So the version that we are driving is the top of the line one and it comes obviously with the dual tone colour. Now this has the black roof colour and that beautifully complements with the black cladding. Now, Maruti has ensured that the black cladding is quite prominent, thick and adds to that rugged look. But our only complaint is that because the wheel arches, the square wheel arches, they're so much more broadened that you know, you see a pretty much a, quite a wide distance between the wheel arch and the wheels itself, the tyres. But the tyres, they're 16 inch in size and that is a standard in this uh, segment. Now when you look at the side profile and at a glance you might think that it looks exactly like the previous Brezza but no it's not because first of all the material, the design, it's all new. It has a lot more prominent shoulder line as well as some ridges right here which are quite prominent yet they do not really you know impose its presence. So it smoothens out the design, it complements the design and it's really easy on the eyes. So you can see that the rear design has been spruced up. It is very different from the older model. First and foremost you'll see is Brezza, the name is written. It runs across the tailgate and that is something that a lot of manufacturers are opting for as well. So why not Maruti? Then you see that the traditional number plate that usually is in the middle here, it's moved down below. Again, that a lot of uh, manufacturers are going for, so that also works. But the good thing is, it does complement the design. The elongated LED tail lamps, they also look very smart. And all in all, you can see that, you know, it's not going to age as such. But what about the boot capacity? Because the older Brezza had one of the least space boots. So let's take a look and see. So as you can see that the boot is flat, so it is very accessible um, and also in case of you know lifting uh, luggage or bags, it's not going to be such a challenge. But again, the space is identical, it retains that 328 litres. So in terms of numbers, yes, it is still less than the rivals, but in terms of accessibility, in terms of usability, it is still, you can do a lot of it. So the new Brezza balances out both the modern contemporary look which everybody is looking for and yet retains that old school SUV looks that everybody again wants in this segment. Now does it have that menacing presence which will be able to beat its rivals? Well why don't you find out and watch our review. <music> 